بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم and good evening first of all thank you uh, all for subscribing theoretical nursing we are discussing about uh, teaching and learning theories in which we had discussed the five different perspective on four of five uh, theories um, in the last session this and today session we will discuss about the comparison of these five learning theories uh, before going ahead uh, there is a question a logical question uh, which everyone can ask that in which of these five theories best describe or explain learning which theories and other word would be the most helpful to help professional interested in increasing knowledge are changing the behavior of patient staff or themselves so there is a logical question it means that if there is different perspective or different concept of the scholar about the learning some people are talking about the stimulus and response mechanism some people are talking about the cognition some people are talking about the social aspect some people are uh, focusing on the emotional and the motivational aspects so for a student or for a staff nurse for an individual nurse professional what theories we have to follow so this is a logical question and then in this session today we'll answer so the answer to this question is that each theory contribute to understand various aspect of the learning process and can be used singly singly and in combination to help practitioner acquire new information and alter existing existing thought feeling and behavior the answer to this question can be elaborated like there are different perspective that is given by the scholar about the learning process in different time so now it is up to the individual that uh, wh whether which perspective he or she, uh, she can follow whether at a time they can follow one or two or three or more perspective so there is no such uh, things that you have to follow only the one and the other you cannot follow there is no such law or discipline or policy um, that the one uh, theory uh, perspective you can follow in the other you cannot so uh, for example the behaviorist arch uh, like like the comparison if we compare these theories like as i have mentioned that the behaviorist urge us to pay attention to and change stimulus condition and to provide reinforcement to alter behavior where is the social learning perspective as another relative simple theory to use stressing upon the importance of effective role model who by the example demonstrate exactly what behavior is expected like as you have mentioned that uh, in the tv ad usually the top personalities are giving uh, asking to um, give ad in the public because the people are inspired by these role models so these are another perspective of learning so all these five learning theories remind us to consider the internal factor perceptions thoughts ways of processes processing information feeling and emotions all these factor can be ignored because ultimately it is the learner who control and regulate learning and how information is perceived interpreted and remember and whether the new knowledge is expressed or perf perform so this concept is becoming more abstract like the basic idea is in this 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 paragraph they are discussing about these the, the main essence of these theories like um, the different perspective of these theories like learning is basically affected by the cognition the stimulus uh, response process the social aspect emotion and feeling aspect so uh, all these uh, factor were important that influence the learning process so in practice theory should not be considered to be mutually exclusive M mutually exclusive mutually exclusive is a statistical term that in which uh, the two variable cannot occur at a time so there is no such concept like here that to, uh, if you are following the one as perspective so you cannot um, follow another perspective so there is no uh, concept of up mutually exclusive but rather to operate together you can follow uh, Uh, all of these theories together 
So I will explain this by giving the example in the coming slides on in one way or another. The theory indicates that all the players in any learning situation are strongly influenced by the environment, society, and the local culture. Now, in order to better compare all these five um, perspectives uh, with the example, uh, like a patient undergoing a painful procedure in the hospital, our first start the systemic desensitization to reduce the pain. So that systemic desensitization concept we have discussed in the behaviorist approach. And while experienced pain by that patient are discomfort, are encouraged to imply the guided imaginary therapy. But these are basically a therapy in which uh, the thinking about the favorite, the beautiful place, are imaging the reality, um, are gobbling up about the unhealthy cells. So this concept is the cognitive theory. So all these two concept uh, therapies is used to reduce the pain, like the systemic desensitization and the guided imaginary is a technique they usually the nurses, nursing professional use to do. Then continuing with the example, like the staff member are highly respectful, a beat and emotionally supportive for each patient. So that was the aspect of the humanistic uh, perspective and create the time and opportunity to listen to the patient, discuss some of their deepest fear and concern. So leading to the psychodynamic perspective and now uh, the social learning aspect like waiting rooms and lounge areas for patients and their families are designed to be comfortable, friendly and pleasant to facilitate conversation and interaction. So in this example, uh, as we have uh, seen that all the perspective um, was utilized by the healthcare setting or the individual uh, or the professional. So it is not uh, uh, the hard and fast rule that you have to follow only the one perspective or the one approach and you cannot follow the uh, the another perspective, like there is no the concept of mutually exclusiveness. So in this example, the, the individual followed the systemic uh, the desensitization following the behavioral approach, followed by the guided imaginary, that is the cognitive theory, and emotionally supportive uh, support given to that patient was the humanistic approach. And in the last, the deep spirit concern and, and lesson to that patient was a psychodynamic. And at the last, the social interaction aspect or the social learning aspect. So all these perspective is very much essential for learning to happen. So we are hoping that the student might have understand the basic theoretical understanding uh, of the uh, learning and teaching and learning process. Now, uh, in order to uh, explain the, the different perspective, uh, usually all the nurses professional are following these um, techniques or these uh, uh, theories, but they do not know. So the idea of this channel is to inform you and orient you about the action which you people are already performing, but you people may or may not know. So we are trying to orient you about the uh, theoretical root of the uh, 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 nursing actions and the, um, the practices. The takeaway message of this uh, session is basically nursing theories are the map that guide the practice. We apply theories in our practice whether we know or not. As I have mentioned, we are providing this in systemic decentralization, guided imaginary, but whether we know or not, but we are following the theory. So from this, from um, watching this session, uh, the, the audience might have known that we are following our discipline theories. In the above example, every professional perform the same job, but may or may not have a theoretical orientation for their action or behavior. So let us learn and apply it in our practice to improve quality care. That is the basic function of the nursing profession. So for more uh, concept, and theoretical understanding, kindly subscribe and share the theoretical nursing to learn more advanced concepts. Thank you.